Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I have my official review for iOS 5. Uh, it's going to be on the iPod Touch 4th generation right now. So, and this iOS 5 was released earlier today at 10 o'clock in the morning, as you all may know. So, let's go ahead and get started. First feature I'm going to do is <coughs> Notification Center. And have, the way you access this is you pull down from the top of your screen, and there you go. As you can see, I just got a notification up here. And this is how they pop up. The little roll-down banners, or a banner that... I'm just going to make it simple. A banner that rolls down from the top, which is kind of cool. And then, as you can see down here, right there, it says, Hi, Future Self, and a little message popped up. And then you've got some from Twitter, Calendar, and Bump. And as well, on top of all that, you have your stock widget and your weather widget, which you can slide uh, back and forth to see your local weather, and you can move the stock widget as well. And then the way you <coughs> get out of Notification Center is by going to the little grab handles and swiping up. It's that simple. Now I'm going to show you the lock screen notifications here. So I can send a random message here. Should pop up. Okay, as you can see right there, it says from text free from this is a public number, so don't worry about that. And a random message. And if you want to look at that message or reply, all you have to do is slide the application across and you're in that application. Let's go. Okay, unlock. Oops, that was a mess up there. <laughs> okay. Now, next feature I'm going to be going over is iMessage. And what this is, is Apple's version, basically, of uh, excuse me, uh, Blackberry's BBM Messenger, uh, which is right here. I do not have any contacts at the moment, so I can't really show you how it works yet. I'll not have to make a separate video of this. But what you can do works basically just like the iPhone's text messaging system. And what you can go up here to the uh, Compose window, add a contact from your uh, contacts list, or type your friend's phone number if they're not in your contact, and it'll pop up if they're registered from iMessage or not. And you can see if you put a random number and then try to compose it, Go back up here, it'll put a little alert saying it's not compatible with iMessage. It's pretty cool. So that's iMessage there, and I forgot to mention that when you're composing a message, it'll give you a little dot 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 which was not in the text messaging system before, so it's pretty cool. But anyway, I'll make a separate video of this once I get it up and running. Next feature is Newsstand. And what this is, is it basically a place where you store all your purchased magazines and newspapers. If I tap on it, you can see I have a, a one magazine and one newspaper. It's one of the... Uh, the excuse me. Uh, the newspaper is from New York Times. And the store is working, so it's pretty good. And when you tap the newspaper, it brings up the New York Times application, basically. And then same thing with the magazine as well. So that's basically new newsstand, not really much in there. Uh, next feature is Reminders. What Reminders is, is basically an application that essentially reminds you of certain things you need to do during the day, or whatever you need to do. So like say, I need to add a new uh, notif or not notification, um, reminder, say, test iOS 5, and hit done. It'll pop up test iOS 5, you can go into it. Uh, unfortunately on the iPod Touch and iPad uh, Wi-Fi only version, uh, you cannot have location-based reminders. That's only for the iPad uh, 3G version and the iPhones, or iPhone in general. So, you have your title here, you have your time when you want it to remind you, and you have 
notes and what priority it is. And then when you're done, you hit done. And then when you're done with that reminder, or you're, you've been reminded or whatever, you hit the check, it'll say completed. Swipe over, and it's in this completed section. Now, next feature is Twitter integration. Now, this is sort of useful to me, but not totally. Uh, but what Apple has essentially done is added Twitter into their whole entire operating system. So if you hit this, it will bring up to where you're making sure you have Twitter app installed. You can update your contacts from here and Safari as well. And then here's the two, you can add more than one account. If you guys want to add me, PlayerBlay600. Uh, this one is personal, but it doesn't matter if you guys follow it or not. But anyway, essentially what this does is when you go out, and like go into Safari, <clears throat> so let Safari load up here real quick. Okay, now when you hit the little arrow right here, it will bring up a bunch of options. It's kind of lagging. Okay. Then it gives the option of tweet. So when you hit that, it brings up a little kind of tweet sheet, as people call it. It's kind of slow. This is, of course, yeah, iOS 5, the first version of it, so Apple will have to fix out the bugs or whatever. But as you can see, it puts the account you're going to be tweeting from, a little preview of what you're tweeting. You can add your location and type your message. Let's go ahead and cancel. So that's Twitter integration. Next is camera upgrades. Um, new camera upgrades would be... Uh, let it load up. Okay, new camera upgrades would be... Op it ha gives you a new bar of options. And you can turn on grid lines, which help you basically do the roll of thirds or whatever that's called. And another thing is, is you can swipe to the left, and it will bring you to your photos, or preview your photos. And when you swipe back to the right, it takes you back to your photo application, or your camera application. Now, when you turn it like this, you can use your volume up button to take the photo. Oops. Okay. As you can see here, I'm going to push the volume up button, not touching anything on the screen. As you can see there, uh, it is actually very, very useful um, for people. Well, basically, for someone that wants to use their iPhone or iPod Touch as a camera. Essentially, basically, whatever. So, now the other part of the camera features is uh, new photo editing. So, what you could do is go into a uh, camera roll. And tap, let's say, this photo here, and you hit edit, and you can rotate it 360 degrees, uh, auto enhance, which will enhance the color and the saturation and everything, and the contrast. Turn it off. Uh, red eye reduction. There is nothing to do red eye reduction right now, but you get the point. And cropping, so you can go and crop the image. So that's photo editing, and I'm about to run out of time here, so I'm possibly going to, or actually I am going to need to make a part two of this video. So please go ahead and watch that video as soon as I get it uploaded, so you can keep on track with the first part of this to the second part, and whatever. So, yeah, basically that's all I have time to be, do be able to do in part one, I right now so please come back and watch part two and yeah peace till that next time everybody or peace till part two sorry <laughs>